Hey, Metal Driver here with another AEW review. And today, I'll be looking at the ringside exclusive, Jim Ross. We get a nice image of Jim Ross on the front and on the back, but let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at Jim Ross. And here is good old JR out of the packaging, but before we take a look at the figure, let's look at the accessories that he comes with. He comes with an AEW microphone, which we have seen many times before. So if you have any of these microphones in your collection, it's pretty much exactly the same. Hand looks good all the way around, same logo. And then he comes with this chair for the announcer's desk. This is really nice, good sculpt work. I like the way this looks, it does spin around but that's the only articulation that it has. It does not recline at all. I think it looks nice for what it is. There's not any paint details, just a solid black plastic. The bottom looks pretty good. Sculpted wheels. Now this does come in two separate pieces, so you do just plug this into the hole down here at the bottom. So I like that it comes with this. This is really neat. Then he also comes with his cowboy hat and, and glasses. These are removable pieces. The hat is sculpted really nicely. It's just a solid black plastic. Plastic, no extra paint detail and the glasses look really nice. It's got this see-through plastic right here so you can see JR's eyes. Frames look really nice. Just one solid black color but I like the sculpting of the pair of glasses and again you can remove these pieces off very easily. Then taking a closer look at the head sculpt, this is really nice. I think Jazzwares captured the likeness to an older JR really well. He's got that Jim Ross expression, that resting expression. Looks really good. The paint on the beard looks nice. The eyebrows, the eyes all look good. The sculpting of the hair and the paint looks really good as well. So yeah, I can definitely see the likeness of Jim Ross on this. So really well done Jazzwares. I'm glad this turned out very well. And then if you wanted to make this a younger Jim Ross, you could always paint the hair and paint the facial hair a little bit. Then take a look at the body. It is a suited body and the suit is sculpted really well. I like the detailing on the front of the jacket. Buttons look really nice. You got a little pockets right here. Sculpted pockets at least. The collar looks really nice. You got a little tie right here. White shirt underneath. Painted very well. Looks really good. You get your AEW logo right here. Painted really nicely. Nothing on the back except for some sculpted creases and folds. Arm looks really good. Sculpted cuffs. Painted very well. Some good detail there. Then the lower body features sculpted dress pants, some good sculpting on the creases and the folds and the wrinkles, especially here at the bottom. That looks really well done. And some nicely sculpted shoes. Looks really good on the detail right there. Then going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so it goes that high up, that far down. Can turn side to side and that does not tilt. Shoulder goes that high up. It rotates all the way around. There is a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist, a ball joint here at the upper diaphragm, so he crunches that far forward. Goes that far back, twists and tilts pretty well. And then I am assuming there is a ball joint here at the waist. I'm pretty sure that's a ball joint. So he crunches even further forward, goes slightly further back. Can twist a bit. Legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut. Double jointed knees, a cut at the calf, and then the ankle goes slightly up that far down, and he has some pretty good ankle pivot. So the articulation is very good on this JR. Not that you would necessarily need it, but I do appreciate that it is there. Here is the ringside exclusive Jim Ross next to his broadcast colleague, Unrival 10 Taz. Here he is next to Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, and finally next to his former boss, Vince McMahon. So, what are my final thoughts on the ringside exclusive Jim Ross figure? I think it's a great figure, and I love that I have him. I missed out on the Mattel version, and we don't often get a Jim Ross figure, or announcers in general, so I'm really happy to have a Jim Ross in my collection, and this is something that if you are a WWE fan and not really an AEW fan, you could still pick this up and use him in your WWE display, just erase or paint over the AEW logo. I think the likeness to JR is pretty good. It's cool that he comes with this chair. The D detail on the figure is good and the articulation is excellent. It doesn't really need to be because it's just an announcer but I like that all that detail was put in. And I forgot to mention he has a ring on his finger so I just want to point that out before I forget. But overall it is a solid figure and I think it is one worth adding to your collection. If you haven't done so already like this video and subscribe. You want a chance to get a shout out in the next video then leave a comment down below just like Anthony Ramirez said on the Walmart exclusive punk review that I really want the CM Punk figure. Just can't 
can't find any in my Walmarts, but I found several Hangman Adam Page figures which I'm not interested in getting. Yeah, I'm personally not interested in that figure. I think the standard version is better than that one, so hopefully you are able to find CM Punk, and we get a better distribution throughout the US. Check out my social media to be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography, and I'll see you next time.